Hello folks, so this is the question of 2018, October, November, paper 1-3 and the question number is also 13-1-3. It says that a kite is in equilibrium at the end of a string. So this is the string, end of the string and it's in equilibrium. The kite has three forces acting on it, the weight W, the tension T in the string and the force F from the wind. So we have to find which vector diagram represents the forces acting on the kite. So one thing that we have to realize uh, first is uh, the the tension force on the string, uh, which is acting toward acting on the kite, is in this direction. In this direction, so T like this. Now, if I uh, look at the uh, uh, force diagrams or the vector diagrams, choice number B disqualifies because it says that the tension is acting in this direction. So this disqualifies and uh, all the three uh, a b and c they are they still qualify here and uh and in all of them the weight is in down direction so down uh down down they still qualify qualify uh, i think i think i think yeah so uh, here in uh, this number uh, tension t is acting in this direction so this also disqualifies so what remains here is we have what remains here is choice number a and choice number c now one thing that we have to remember is uh, since the forces are like this so T is in this direction almost like this and W in this direction somewhat like this so what must happen is the resultant should be somewhat in this direction the resultant should be somewhat in this direction this is the resultant of this T this tension force T and this W so in order to balance it since the board is in equilibrium in order to balance it the force acting due to the uh, wind or air should be in somewhat this direction exactly opposite to this the force being acted by this by the air or wind should be in this direction in order to balance the resultant so this is a resultant and this is that force f so what we must have now is force f should be somewhat in this direction uh, <coughs> direction uh, this tension should be in this direction and uh, w should be in this direction so let's go through the uh, choices here in this direction so if i go for the angle angle this tension and this tension the angle is uh, angle is equal uh, then 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 we have <coughs> we have w vertically it's equal and force slightly slanted like this slightly slanted like this so if i go for this angle here with the horizontal this angle and this angle seems to be equal so this seems to be the correct choice let's go to the other also other number also so here what you have is so what you have here is here we have got f has got this angle this angle and t has got greater angle so it shows that the angle formed by f uh, with the horizon is less than the angle formed by t which is not true so according to what we have here is the angle formed by t with the horizon is less and angle formed by f with the horizon is more and that is fulfilled only in this choice so like this this angle is less and this angle is more so 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 choice number a should be the correct answer and c disqualifies <coughs> so the correct choice is choice number a